Hello there, I'm Professor Jessica Kester, and I'm a writing instructor here at Daytona State College. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a little phrase you might hear throughout your time here at the college. That phrase is college level writing. And I'm smiling because it's a tricky little phrase. You're expected to produce it in your classes, especially maybe 1101 or 1102, but it seems elusive, right? Like what the heck is college level writing? And here's the truth. The expectations for college level writing depend on who you're asking and what class or academic space your writing is a part of. For example, depending on your instructor, the assignment, the course, an argument about uh, free speech on social media might take a variety of different forms and it might be evaluated by a different set of standards. So what is college level writing? Uh, it depends. And I know that may seem frustrating at first, but there are some general principles that I think can help guide you toward college level writing in a variety of situations. So let's move beyond kind of strict rules and easy definitions for college level writing and think about some principles that will always need to be specified for a given writing situation. Okay, so here, here they are. College level writing is purpose driven. It's audience focused and it's intentionally organized in order to appeal to your particular audience's expectations. College level writing is also full of your good ideas. Uh, ideas that showcase your willingness to evaluate and consider course materials, readings, research, lecture material, class discussions, whether those things are happening in an online class or in a face-to-face -face situation. College level writing is about good ideas. It's your best brain work written purposely for an audience and presented according to the standards outlined by your instructor or implied by the assignment itself. To produce college level writing, most folks need like a multi-step process. And look, it doesn't have to happen in some formulaic way, but if you're not reading, thinking, planning, drafting, rethinking, revising, and collaborating, you're probably not doing your best work. And sometimes these things can get all mashed up together and they can happen pretty quickly. But if you give yourself a really small window of time to produce college level writing, your thinking will be diminished and so will your writing. So writing like life is complicated and you should never be satisfied with easy answers. But here's what works. The next time you're trying your hand at college level writing, think like a college level writer. And that means asking questions like, who is my audience? What do they already know about the topic I'm writing about? What do they expect my writing to look like or sound like? And if you don't know, reach out and ask. Ask a friend, ask your professor, look to a model text, or schedule a session in the Writing Center. Ask yourself, what is my goal as a writer? In other words, what do you want your audience to know or understand or be persuaded to think after reading your writing? And then how can you organize and support your ideas to accomplish that goal? And finally, think about what kind of thing you're being asked to write and in what context. That argument we talked about, about social media, free speech on social media, let's say it was going to be written for um, an audience of your professor and peers in an MLA research argument form that needed research and support for a position. That's very different than if you've been assigned to write an opinion piece for the Daytona Beach News Journal, right? Different audience, different purpose, different genre, different context. And finally, maybe you were asked to consider that idea, social media and free speech, in relation to a particular reading you did on a discussion board. Once again, the way that writing looks, how you produce it, what it ultimately sounds like, and how it's evaluated depends so much on your purpose, your audience, your genre, and your context. So. In my opinion, learning to think like a college writer is the best way to produce college level writing and thinking like a college level writer begins with considering some of the questions I've outlined on the screen. Ultimately, writing is hard, even for those of us who have been writing academically for a long time. You'll get there and we're here to help you. Thank you for your time and I hope to see some of you in one of my courses soon.